This video is sponsored by Rhino Shield. More about them later. For those of you who are unaware, over the past few decades, the cheese community have been at war with dream enthusiasts. You see, dream enthusiasts have long believed that eating cheese before bed gives you nightmares. The cheese community, of course, disagree. Now, for a long time, this was a friendly debate. That was, of course, until the 25th of September 2005, the day that a study was published titled Sweet Dreams Are Made of Cheese. In the study, it's claimed that not only does cheese not give you nightmares, but that some types of cheese actually make your dreams sweeter. The dream enthusiasts, of course, were quick to point out that this study was funded by the British Cheese Board, and in 2015 retaliated with a study of their own, claiming that 8% of participants thought that dairy contributed to disturbing dreams. So with conflict at an all-time high, I've decided it's time to put this matter to bed. Literally. <laughs> It's cheese time, baby. So the cheeses of choice are as follows. A red Leicester, which according to the study causes you to dream about your childhood. A cheddar, which supposedly causes you to dream about celebrities. And a brie, which has no significance whatsoever. I just like brie. I think for night one, I'm going to have none of these. And I'm going to have the random cheese that I just found in the fridge. All right, lads, I have with me right now 20 grams of cheese and a dog. It's about midnight now, which is roughly half an hour before I go to bed, so high five. Nice try. So I will see you guys in about seven hours or so uh, with my dream update. Would you, would you cut it out? Morning lads, um, I didn't have any dreams last night. <laughs> so tonight is the Red Leicester, which I'm very excited for because... Wow. Because this is the first of the cheeses that were actually used in the study. This cheese was not cheap. This cheese was really not cheap, so it better be good. I've never tried it before. This is going to be a bit of a, bit of a try on haul, I guess. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Oh, that rocks so hard. Honestly, it might be worth the nightmares. Dude, this is so annoying. So, my dog woke me up at like 6 a.m. or something by barking. That's not the annoying part, that happens every day. But I remember waking up and just thinking, Oh my gosh, this dream was so vivid and it's going to be so great to talk about. Fast forward to 9am and I, I freaking forgot the dream, dude. The only thing about my dream that I can remember is a giant silver bowl. <laughs> Which wasn't scary, so I guess that's something for you. I am absolutely determined to have a dream today. I've been thinking about dreams all day. I've been researching how to remember your dreams. Today's the cheddar, by the way, which I think is supposed to make me dream about um, celebrities, right? Guys, I just had a straight up nightmare. I am so stoked right now, literally in the last Two years, I don't think I've had a worse nightmare, like a nightmare where I woke up and I was like, holy crap, that was creepy. So I was staying at this haunted hotel with a whole bunch of my friends and I think it was about 3 a.m. I decided it would be a good idea to body slam onto the hotel floor. <coughs> I, I don't know. So I went out into the main lobby and I kind of just... Bah. A few minutes later, the entire hotel was standing in the lobby, just around where I had body slammed. Frodo, I'm trying to tell a really cool story. Uh, okay, man. Apparently the person who had body slammed onto the floor had left a mark from their belt buckle and also an entire cup of coffee. 
What? So the detective came and poured the entire cup of coffee into a bag and then left. And I remember them saying, it's all right, everybody, we have this new machine that tells you whose cup of coffee it is. So far, this sounds so stupid, but I swear it was traumatizing. The most interesting part of all of this, though, is that all of the characters in my dream were from my childhood. It's the complete wrong day for me to have childhood dreams. That was supposed to be yesterday. But it's very interesting. But first we need to thank the sponsor of this video, Rhino Shield. Now if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know that I'm not the best when it comes to protecting my phone. Yep, that's my old phone. With the Rhino Shield case and 3D impact screen protector though, you'll never have to worry about breaking your phone again. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, besides being absurdly protective, these things just look sick. My personal favorites are the PewDiePie, NASA, and Pac-Man collabs, but there's literally thousands of other options as well. Or if you really want, you can just straight up design your own. Every case comes with a lifetime replacement warranty, ships worldwide, and even ships for free on qualifying orders. With cases fit for all iPhones, including the iPhone 13, a whole bunch of Androids, and even AirPods and Apple Watches, it's a no-brainer. I mean, come on. If you click the link in the description, you can use code Liam for 20% off your order this week or 10% off uh, forever. Another huge thank you to Rhino Shield for sponsoring this video. Let's eat more cheese. So today is Brie Day. Also, before you ask, yes, I'm wearing the exact same outfit as yesterday. Don't hate on the player, hate on the game. If a cheese this beautiful can cause me to have nightmares, the world is a messed up place. Just before I go to sleep, I do feel obligated to rank all of the cheeses. So, <clears throat> here goes. Fourth place is uh, whatever I ate on the first day. Third place, I'm going to be a little bit controversial here, Brie. I know I've been talking it up this entire time, but it just wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Second place Cheddar, first place Red Leicester. I've, I've said it. I've done it. I'm sorry. Last night, I dreamt about celebrities. So in the dream, I was a gladiator at the Coliseum, but it wasn't a fight to the death. It was like, um... I had to like verse Brad Pitt at poetry. <laughs> I remember versing someone at a dance off. And at one point I was literally versing a baby, like an actual baby. So that happened. And that brings us to the end of the video, my friends. I, I've just had the best time making this. I have eaten cheese. I have given you my opinion. What more can you ask for? I guess the only thing left to do is to answer the question that this whole video has been about. Does cheese give you nightmares? Maybe. <laughs> That's gonna be it for me for now. Another huge thank you to Rhino Shield for um, funding my trip to the cheese shop. <laughs> I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. And bye-bye.